famous for being London's friendly fetish club every month on a Saturday. And here to tell us all about it is your host, Kip. So tell us what plans Club Grub has got for 2010. Bringing back performances to Club Grub. Um, over the past 10 years I've used venues that haven't lent themselves to performances and now I have a venue that's got an area large enough and a stage so we're going to be bringing that back again. Is it mainly a question of couples going out together or if you're a single person do you have any realistic chance of meeting the curve of your dreams there or is it just best to come with your partner? We also have a meet and greet service at Club Rub and if you come alone or as a couple we can have somebody to meet you upon your arrival. But Club Rub is actually renowned for being really friendly. It's one of those sort of places that you can just chat to people and you know the best way to start talking to somebody of the opposite sex is to pay them a compliment. You know perhaps tell them you like their outfit or ask if you can buy them a drink. People are always looking to make friends and like I say Club Rub is the best place to do that. A big part of it is the dress code. You can't come to Club Rub unless you're in some, some form of fetish dress. So you could by all means just wear high heels and a uh, rubber dress if you're a woman or biker jeans if you're a bloke or something like that. But what if you've always wanted to wear something really way out? Club Rub is also a place where you can, um, you can wear the over the top outfit. Um, you know, something probably a little bit more unusual. We're not so strict that you have to wear rubber or leather. You know, you can bring in an element of um, flamboyance and boudoir and fancy dress, if I dare say that. Um, but you know, so long as you mix it up and you show that you're being creative and that you're not just trying to cop out and just wear the basic bare minimum, then, you know, I've got all the time in the world for people who want to be creative with what they wear and uh, just add those little flamboyant flourishes. Okay, that's good. There is a dungeon. Now, how is that monitored so that nobody hurts themselves or people look at something and think, oh, I'd love to try that, but I don't quite know how the hell it works. Is there someone to help you keep an eye? There is a resident mistress every month and that's Countess Nina de Jagger. She will administer spankings to people if they want to try it. She will advise couples if they don't really know what they're mm. doing. I've got a theory that there's thousands of people out there in London who would love to come to Club Rock if they knew what it was like, but they're afraid that any fetish club is going to be a seedy sort of hangout for really sleazy, hardcore SM types who are going to pester them and all that. I guarantee they'll love it or I'll give them their money back. It's oh, that simple. And you know, you haven't got all night to decide that you don't like it. Though.